Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna be taking a look at a software in Linux called PhotoGIMP. So let's get started. Before we begin, I do want to thank my sponsor for this video, which is Ridge Wallet. This is one of the easiest ad reads I ever have to do because I truly believe in their product. I've been using their product for the past year and have not had a problem with it. Its minimal design allows you to fit up to 12 cards in that wallet and you can switch between having a money clip or a money band, or you could just remove everything altogether. No longer do you have to worry about having that bulge in your back pocket. It is a very small and sleek design. I also even went as far as 3D printing this little piece so I could hide a secret compartment inside the wallet. And you can choose from multiple colors and or material. Not only that, they're actually offering you guys a 10% off by using the code NOVASPIRIT or clicking on the link ridgewallet.com slash NOVASPIRIT. Let's get back to the video. So today we're gonna to be checking out a software called PhotoGIMP. It's actually a plugin for GIMP to make it look and feel like Photoshop. First, to install the software, head over to your Ubuntu Software Center and look for Photo GIMP. And here you have the program and it's from Snackcraft, so it's easier to install, but you can actually go to GitHub and install it directly yourself. Now, once you install this, it'll actually install GIMP and the plugin for you. Not only that, it includes a lot of fonts. It also brings back the healing brush as well as making your canvas. It basically makes it run and operate like Photoshop. I'll, I'll get into details in a second. Now, if I head over to the menu and I check out GIMP, the regular one, I actually have them both installed. It's gonna look completely different from Photoshop. Like I said, the intimidating part because you have to, you have all the muscle memory for Photoshop and to learn something brand new, it looks and looks completely different. It's it kind of, it's kind of intimidating for me at least. So you have all these icons over here and usually if you are gonna use the selection tool, I, it's the V key for uh, Photoshop. If you wanna deselect something, it's control D, but when you do it in here, it's actually, it duplicates it. So let me grab a photo. So flame shot actually you know what i could just grab the wallpaper i believe so let me open up a wallpaper and here's the wallpaper and if i wanted to like do say select something but i wanted to deselect Control d would actually duplicate and that's what i mean like a lot of the hotkeys are changed including the fact that all these icons over here are not like where i'm used to so even if I move it, you, you're left with this huge bar over here and all the stuff with the layers. That's what I mean. This is the original GIMP. Now, if I switch this over, discard changes, pop over to photo GIMP, take a look at this. Now the splash screen looks like a Photoshop type of a splash screen. And they just recently changed this. We are awesome. I didn't even realize this one. Now it pops up and it opens in full screen and look at all the icons. It's on the left side like you're used to. And if I was to open a photo, I'm just testing one of the hotkeys out compared to like all the others. If I was to open up like say wallpaper, whoops, it already has it like a move tool. So I have that selected, Control D deselects it. It doesn't duplicate it. Now if I go look, X and D will actually switch the colors back. Same thing with like all these other stuff. Like this one is Shift M for selection. Whoop, Control M I pressed. I did it again. But if I was to select this, it's V. If I was to uh, do text, it's T. So, you know, it's 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 very familiar to what you're used to. Control A would select all. So just these little hotkeys and how this looks like, I'm actually enjoying using GIMP because I'm not learning everything from scratch again. So I actually found this plugin to be really, really good for anyone who's actually coming from Photoshop and trying to use Linux and use a Photoshop type program. Now, another program that I used that I showed you guys before is Karita. And Krita is also a pretty good program as far as uh, doing a Photoshop type thing. I've actually used Krita for a very long time compared to GIMP, but because of this new plugin, I started using GIMP a lot more. But Krita is actually more of like a drawing program. But again, I'm more familiar with where all the icon spacing is, uh, how the layers work. That's why I started using Krita, but now I'm gonna switch back over to, to GIMP because of this plugin. All in all, I just believe this software actually really deserved my praise, so I decided to make this video. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. And remember, I do have a Discord, so come on over and have a chat with us. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.